Entretenimento, Tiradentes City. Tem muitas cidades históricas em Minas Gerais. There are a lot of historical cities in Minas Gerais. In Confidência Mineira, Minas Gerais Conspiracy. So this is called in Confidência or Conspiracy because actually the revolution didn't happen because they killed everyone before everything happened. One person of the group actually told the policeman about their plans because he was owing a lot of money to the courts. So that's why it didn't become a revolution and only a conspiracy. Tiradentes fez parte da Inconfidência Mineira. Tiradentes was part of Minas Gerais conspiracy. Mártir. Mártir. Tiradentes is considered the martyr or the hero of the Inconfidência Mineira. That's why he's so important to Brazilian history. Tiradentes é o mártir da Inconfidência Mineira. Tiradentes is the martyr of the Minas Gerais conspiracy. Semana da Inconfidência. Conspiracy Week. Eu quero ir para Tiradentes durante a Semana da Inconfidência. I want to go to Tiradentes City during the Conspiracy Week. The end. O fim. That's it for today. See you in our next video. Tchau, tchau. Paloma here. Welcome to another Portuguese Weekly Words, Holiday Edition. So let's see what holiday we have to talk about today. Boyfriend and Girlfriend's Day. Dia dos Namorados. Dia dos Namorados. Boyfriend and Girlfriend's Day or Lover's Day. So this is a very important day for Brazilian couples because they go out and they hang out together and they have a great time. And it's very similar to Valentine's Day in America or in any other country. But the difference is that we celebrate it in June, not in February, other places. A simple sentence would be O dia dos namorados é no dia 12 de junho. Boyfriend and Girlfriend's Day is on June 12. Santo Antonio, Santo Casamenteiro. Saint Anthony of Padua, patron saint of weddings. So this saint is very famous in Brazil because he's kind of a matchmaker. So when a boy or a girl can find a husband or a wife, they just ask this saint for some help. A simple sentence would be O dia de Santo Antonio é dia 13 de junho. Saint Anthony's day is on June 13th. Okay, so that means that boyfriend and girlfriend's day is one day before the Saint Anthony's day. Namorado, namorada, boyfriend or girlfriend. A very nice tradition we have in Brazil is that when a boy is going to ask a girl to be his girlfriend, he usually gives her a ring. So it's usually a silver ring and we use it on our right hand and it's called Aliança de Compromisso or Compromise Ring. So let's see a sample sentence. Eu ganhei uma aliança de compromisso do meu namorado. I won a compromise ring from my boyfriend. Encontro. Date. So, encontros in Brazil are just like in any other country. We just go out to a nice restaurant or have a nice romantic trip. And we just like to spend time with the person we like. Eu marquei um encontro com o meu namorado amanhã. I got a date with my boyfriend tomorrow. Simpatias. Sympathies. Simpatias is something we do to ask Santo Antonio to give us a boyfriend or a girlfriend, usually girls do that to ask for a husband. A very famous one is that you get the same image and you turn it upside down and it's kind of asking him if he doesn't give you a husband, you're not going to turn it up again. So yeah, that's one of the most famous simpatias. Eu fiz uma simpatia para pedir um marido. I did a sympathy to ask for a husband. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in our next video and I hope you check out our website too. So, beijo, tchau tchau! Welcome to another Portuguese Weekly Awards, Holiday Edition. Let's see what holiday we have for today. June Saints. Festa Junina, June Saints. A Festa Junina is a festival we have in Brazil in June to celebrate the Saints of the Month. Nowadays, it also takes place sometimes in July, depending on the place, and it's very famous throughout the country. Okay, so let's see a sample sentence. Na festa junina, nós comemos doces de amendoim e milho. During June Saints, 
with peanut and corn sweets. Quinto, a hot drink made of distilled sugarcane and spices. This is a hot alcohol drink that we drink during Festa Janina and it's very nice because it's very hot so it's nice to keep you warm since it's winter in Brazil. Na Festa Junina, tinha quentão e vinho quente. During the Festa Junina, there was quentão and hot wine. Hot wine is also a kind of drink we have during Festa Junina that is obviously made of wine. Fogueira, bonfire. It's very traditional to have a bonfire in Festa Juninas, uh, especially the big ones, they usually have a huge bonfire. Tinha uma fogueira gigante naquela Festa Junina. There was a huge bonfire on that Festa Junina. São João, Saint John the Baptist. He's one of the most famous saints of the month. In the northeastern part of Brazil, it is called Festa de São João, or Saint John's Party or Festival. Okay, so let's see a sample sentence. No Nordeste está a maior festa de São João do mundo. In the northeastern part of Brazil, there's the biggest São João festival of the world. Quadrilha, square dance. Quadrilha is the traditional dance during the Festa Junina. It's usually danced in pairs and it's kind of imitating a wedding. Na escola, eu dançava quadrilha todos os anos. In school, I used to dance square dance every year. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you on our next lesson. See you. Ciao. Hi guys, Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Boards Holiday Edition. The holiday for today is Day of Saci. Dia do Saci. Day of Saci. In Brazil, we don't have Halloween, so since this holiday was becoming very famous in Brazil, they just try to name it Day of Saci or Dia do Saci. O Dia do Saci é no mesmo dia do Halloween. The Day of Saci is on the same day as Halloween. Dia das Bruxas, Halloween. Day of the Witches, Halloween. These are their names you can call the Dia do Saci. So you could say, Eu vou me vestir de vampiro no Dia das Bruxas. I'm going as a vampire on Halloween. Gostosuras ou travessuras. Trick or treat. So when kids go and knock on our door, they probably will say, Gostosuras ou travessuras. Trick or treat. Folklore. Folklore. Saci is a black boy with only one foot and he goes around making some tricks with people. O Saci faz parte do folclore brasileiro. Saci is part of Brazilian folklore. Cuca. A silver-haired old hag who looks like an alligator and catches naughty children. Cuca is a kind of an alligator and became very famous with Monteiro Lobato, a Brazilian writer, and also became a TV show. Muitas crianças têm medo da Cuca. Many kids are afraid of Cuca. The end! Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you subscribe to our website and our YouTube channel. See you next time. Ciao, ciao! Here. Welcome to our Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. So the holiday for today is Our Lady of Aparecida. Nossa Senhora Aparecida. Our Lady Aparecida. On this day, people go to church and especially to the Aparecida city to celebrate the discovery of the saints. O dia de Nossa Senhora Aparecida é em 12 de outubro. Our Lady Aparecida Day is on October 12th. Rio Paraíba. Paraíba River. This is the river where they found the image of the saints. So this is why we call her Aparecida or appeared, because she appeared in the middle of the water. O rio Paraíba foi onde se encontrou a imagem de Nossa Senhora. The Paraíba River is where they found the image of Our Lady. Catolicismo. Catholicism. Since Brazil is a Catholic country, on October 12th, people go to Aparecida City to pay respect and thank and ask for favors to Our Lady Aparecida. O catolicismo é muito forte no Brasil. The Catholicism is very strong in Brazil. Basilica. Basilica. Our Lady Aparecida Basilica is located in Aparecida City, very close to São Paulo. Milhares de devotas vão à Basílica de Nossa Senhora. 
thousands of devotes go to Our Lady Aparecida Basilica. Peregrinação, pilgrimage. So during this time on October, thousands and thousands of people, they make caravans and groups of people that go to the Basilica to thank the Our Lady or to ask her for more favors. Algumas peregrinações podem durar dias ou até meses. Some pilgrimages can take days or even months. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our lesson today and I hope you enjoy also our view. Here is Ilha Comprida or Long Island, very near to São Paulo. Okay, see you next time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao, ciao! Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words, Holiday Edition. The holiday for today is Republic Day. Dia da República. Republic Day. It's usually a normal holiday. People just use this day to go to the beach or visit family or friends. O Dia da República é comemorado dia 15 de novembro. Republic Day is celebrated on November 15th. Dom Pedro II. Pedro II. Last Emperor of Brazil. Pedro II was the last emperor of Brazil and after the proclamation of the Republic, he went back to Portugal where his family was still in power. Dom Pedro II se tornou rei quando era apenas uma criança. Pedro II became king when he was just a kid. Proclamação da República. Proclamation of the Republic. A Proclamação da República aconteceu em 15 de novembro de 1889. The Proclamation of the Republic happened in November 15, 1889. And after that, we started to have presidents and democracy in Brazil. Marechal Deodoro da Fonseca. Marshal Deodoro da Fonseca, first president of Brazil. Marshal Deodoro da Fonseca was the one that took charge in Brazil when they sent the emperor back to Portugal. And his governance was from 1889 to 1891. Marechal Deodoro da Fonseca foi o primeiro presidente do Brasil. Marshal Deodoro da Fonseca was the first president of Brazil. Democracia. Democracy. The Republic was the first attempt to install the democracy in Brazil and have the people have some say in the decisions of the country. A democracia é importante para uma sociedade qualitária. Democracy is important for an equalitarian society. The end. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to watch our next video. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. Oi, gente, tudo bom? Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. The holiday today is Christmas. Natal. Christmas. Natal is also celebrated on December 25th in Brazil and usually on 24th people have half day work and on 25th they rest all day. Eu vou visitar a minha família no Natal. I'm going to visit my family on Christmas. Papai Noel, Santa Claus. Papai Noel is the most awaited person during Christmas time for kids because he's the one that gets them presents. Esse ano Papai Noel trouxe uma boneca para mim. This year, Santa Claus brought me a doll. Pisca pisca. Blinker, like Christmas decoration. So pisca pisca means blinking? Yeah, and this is the lightning they use during Christmas time. Eu vou colocar pisca pisca na minha árvore de Natal. I'll put light Christmas decorations on my Christmas tree. Chester, special type of chicken. Chester is my favorite meat during Christmas time in Brazil because it's Kind of a chicken, but it's more juicy and it's very delicious. You have to try it. Nós sempre fazemos Chester em casa no Natal. We always cook Chester at home for Christmas. Amigo secreto. Secret Santa. Amigo secreto is kind of a game we do during Christmas, especially for big families. You have to get presents to everyone. So if you just have a secret Santa, you just get presents to one person and that person to another person. Everyone gets a present in the end. Nós vamos sortear o Amigo Secreto na semana que vem. We raffle for Secret Santa next week. Ok, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Ciao! Here, 
Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. The holiday for today is New Year's Day. Ano novo, New Year. Since Christmas is a holiday that people spend with their family, many people spend New Year with their friends. They usually go to the beach, which is a great place to spend New Year since here is summer. Eu vou pra praia no ano novo. I'll go to the beach on New Year. Cor da roupa. Clothing color. So this is a very important point on Brazilians New Year. We usually wear white for peace, but many people use yellow to get some money for next year or green for prosperity. Uh, yeah, each color means something. Eu vou pesquisar o significado da cor da roupa para o ano novo. I'll search about the meaning of the clothing color for New Year. Figo, romã, lentilha, uva. Fig, pomegranate. Lentils, grapes. All those foods are symbol of prosperity, so many people are very superstitious about it and they eat seven of each during New Year's Eve. Minha mãe já comprou o figo e a romã para o ano novo. My mom already bought the fig and the pomegranate for the new year. Corrida Internacional de São Silvestre. International São Silvestre Race. This is a kind of a marathon that happens in São Paulo on January 1st and is probably the most famous race in Brazil. Este ano eu vou correr na Corrida de São Silvestre. This year I'm going to run on São Silvestre Race. Fogos de Artifício. Fireworks. As I said before, many people go to the beach during New Year and one of the most famous places to go is on Copacabana Beach in Rio. There are the most famous fireworks in Brazil. Esse ano eu quero ir para Copacabana ver os fogos de artifício. This year I want to go to Copacabana Beach to see the fireworks. That's it! O fim! Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our website. See you next time. Ciao. Oi, gente. Hi, everyone. Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. So today's holiday is a very nice one that I think everyone will love. Carnival. Carnaval. Carnival. Carnival is celebrated around February and March in Brazil. It depends on the year. If you're planning to come during Carnival to Brazil, just check the calendar before buying your ticket because it changes every year. Ano que vem eu vou no Carnaval do Rio. Next year I'm going to Rio's Carnival. Folião. Carnival Reliever. So folião or foliões, the plural form, are the people that go to Carnival. They usually wear costumes or the abada which is kind of a t-shirt that they gave you you have to pay for that but that you use during carnivals os foliões se divertiram no carnaval da bahia the relevers had a lot of fun in bahia's carnival fantasia costume so it's interesting that we usually don't wear costumes on halloween but it's very traditional to wear costumes or especially masks during carnival Eu preciso comprar uma máscara e uma fantasia para o carnaval. I need to buy a mask and a costume to carnival. Axé. Axé music. So this is one of the most popular kind of music in Brazil. It's very cheerful and you know people just feel like dancing when you hear it. Especially in the northeastern part of Brazil, in Nordeste, people dance this kind of music during carnival. Tem muito axé no carnaval de Porto Seguro. There's a lot of Axé music in Porto Seguro's Carnival. Samba. Samba. Yeah, so this is probably the most famous kind of Brazilian music. Samba. And especially in Rio, it's so popular. Yeah, you just need to go to Rio to listen to Samba. So another word that has Samba is Escola de Samba, which are the groups of people that make the parades on Rio and Sao Paulo and everywhere in the country. So they prepare a whole year to do the presentation on the carnival day. Aquela moça samba muito. Ela é a rainha da bateria. That girl dance samba a lot. She's the queen of the drums. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you subscribe and don't forget to watch our next video. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. 
the holiday for today is International Women's Day. Dia Internacional da Mulher. International Women's Day. It's not a holiday, but people still celebrate it. Especially men or kids give flowers to women. Every year I used to receive a uh, small chocolate from the school just to say, you know, thank you for all the women here. O Dia Internacional da Mulher é dia 8 de março. International Women's Day is on March 8th. Buque. Buque. I guess the same as Portuguese. Bouquets and flowers in general are very common gifts during Women's Day because, you know, they are so delicate and they remember the femininity, I think. Eu ganhei um lindo buquê de rosas no Dia da Mulher. I got a beautiful bouquet of roses on Women's Day. Mimo. Small gift. I really like this word, mimo. It sounds so Brazilian to me. You can say, é só um mimo. It's just a small gift. It's just a mimo, you know? Just to make the person happy. Eu comprei pra você. É só um mimo. Direitos femininos. Women's rights. Actually, on Women's Day, we should celebrate women's rights because you can see all the changes that happened in the last years for women that didn't have any space on companies or business and now they have more space and more equality. But they still, there's a long way to go. Aquela advogada luta pelo direito das mulheres. The lawyer fights for women's rights. Dilma Rousseff, first female president of Brazil elected on 2011. Dilma was the first female president of Brazil. We also had other female candidates. Marina Silva was also one of the big contenders for 2011 elections. But you can see women are trying to get to the top in Brazil too. Dilma foi a primeira presidente mulher do Brasil. Dilma was the first female president of Brazil. That's it, the end. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoy our video. Don't forget to give a hug or a gift or chocolate to your friend, your female friend. And see you next time. Bye bye. Ciao. Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to top 25 Portuguese phrases. Oi, hi. Oi is a very common phrase in Brazil because when you meet someone, you want to greet him or her, you just say oi to everyone. Uh, you can also use olá, that is very common, but oi is more common than olá. Oi gente, hi everyone. Tudo bem? How are you? Tudo bem is a very useful phrase because it means a lot of things. It could be Tudo bem? How are you? Or tudo bem? I'm fine. Or tudo bem? It's okay. So, whenever in any situation you can use tudo bem. Tudo bem comigo. Everything's fine with me. Que legal. That's nice. Que legal is also very useful because when you want to say that something is cool or something's nice or that you're excited about something, you just say que legal. So, que legal que você está aprendendo português. That's nice that you're learning Portuguese. Bom dia. Good morning. Bom dia is the way you greet people in the morning. To be a little more formal instead of oi or olá, you can use bom dia. So, bom dia, tudo bom com a senhora? Good morning, how are you, madam? Boa tarde. Good afternoon. Boa tarde is the way you greet people afternoon until 5 or 6 p.m., until dawn. So, you could say... Espero que você tenha uma boa tarde. I hope you have a good afternoon. Boa noite. Good evening. Boa noite is the way you greet people at night. So you can say good evening. Boa noite to someone on the street. But you can also say boa noite, good night to someone at home. Boa noite, mãe. Eu vou dormir. Good night, mom. I'm going to sleep. Prazer. Nice to meet you. Prazer is a nice phrase because it's actually a word, so it's very short. You can use more complex phrases like prazer em conhecê-lo or é um prazer, but prazer is enough. Tchau. Bye. Tchau is the way you say bye to someone in Portuguese. So you can say tchau or tchau tchau and that would be fine. So, eu vou dar tchau para minha amiga. I'm going to say bye to my friend. Estou bem. E você? I'm fine. And you? 
estou bem means I'm fine. So if you're not fine, you can say estou mal or não estou bem, I'm not fine. Como você está or tudo bem? You can say estou bem. Por favor, please. Por favor is a very polite phrase that you need to know when you go to Brazil. So if you want to ask someone to bring you some water, you can say Por favor, você pode me trazer um pouco de água? Please, can you bring me some water? Obrigado. Obrigada. Thank you. Obrigado is super important because you need to thank people when you ask something. So, obrigado is how men would say it and obrigado is how women say it. So, obrigada por assistir a nosso vídeo. Thank you for watching our video. De nada. You're welcome. And de nada is the opposite now. So, when someone tells you obrigada, you can say de nada. De nada é um prazer. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Sim. Yes. So, if someone asks you, do you want to learn Portuguese? You can just say, sim. Yes. Sim, eu quero aprender português. Yes, I want to learn Portuguese. No. No. So, no has a very unique sound in Portuguese because it's a nasal sound. No. Tudo bem. Okay. So, as I said before, tudo bem is very useful. You can say tudo bem to maybe everything in Brazil. Você não quer sair? Tudo bem. You don't want to go out? That's okay. Com licença. Excuse me. When you bump to someone on the street or you want to pass through someone, you can say com licença or dá licença. Dá licença, posso passar? Excuse me, can I pass through? Desculpa, I'm sorry. Desculpa, não foi a minha intenção. I'm sorry, that wasn't my intention. When you hurt someone or when you bump into someone on the street or when you want to apologize to someone, you just say, desculpa. Que horas são? What time is it? If you want to ask someone that you don't know, what time is it? You can say, com licença, senhor. Que horas são? Excuse me, sir. What time is it? Onde fica o location? Where is the location? If you really need to go to the restroom and you don't know where it is, you can say, onde fica o banheiro? Where is the restroom? Or if you want to find a beautiful beach that you heard about, you can say, onde fica a praia? Where is the beach? O meu nome é? My name is? This one is very easy and useful. So, o meu nome é Paloma. My name is Paloma. Qual o seu nome? What's your name? Por quê? Why? If you want to ask someone, Por que você chegou atrasado? Why were you late? Or if you want to complain with your boyfriend, say, Por que você não me ligou? Why didn't you call me? Se cuida. Take care. Usually when we say goodbye to people, we also say, Se cuida. Take care. So, tchau amigo. Se cuida. Bye my friend. Take care. Quanto que fica? How much is it? So if you're shopping in Brazil and you buy a lot of stuff, you can just ask quanto que fica, how much is it for the total of things you're buying. But if you want to ask just the price of a shirt, you can say quanto custa esta camiseta, how much is this shirt? Yeah, that's a very useful phrase if you want to buy something in Brazil. Até mais. See you soon. Até mais is another way to say bye to someone. So you can say... Yeah, we have trains and helicopters around. Até mais the way to say bye to someone, and it actually means until more, but you can say just até mais or até amanhã, see you tomorrow, até mais tarde, see you later, so até mais. Vamos embora. Let's go. Okay, so my final phrase is vamos embora, let's go or let's leave. You can also say vamos embora or vambora, that is the fastest way to say it. We use it, for example, if a party is too boring and you can say Que festa chata, vamos embora. What a boring party, let's leave. Or Vambora, eu quero ir pra lá. Let's go, I wanna go there. O vídeo está acabando, então vamos embora. The video is ending then, let's leave. See you, tchau tchau, obrigada.
Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to top 25 Portuguese verbs. Ser, to be, exist. Ser is one of the ways to say the verb to be in Portuguese. It means the permanent state. So, I am Brazilian. Eu sou brasileira. I'll always be Brazilian. So, eu sou brasileira. Ter, to have. Ter is used to mean that you have something. For example, eu tenho uma irmã. I have a sister. But it's also used to say age. For example, eu tenho 24 anos. I am 24 years old. Fazer. Do. Make. There's no difference in Portuguese between do and make. So you can say, eu vou fazer um bolo. I'll make a cake. Or, eu vou fazer a lição de casa. I'll do my homework. Dizer. To say. So you can say, ela disse que sabe falar português. She said she can speak Portuguese. Estar. To be. Estar is the other way you can say the verb to be in Portuguese, so you have ser and estar. Estar is the temporary state. So, for example, eu estou em São Paulo, I am in São Paulo, but it doesn't mean I'll be in São Paulo forever, so, for example, tomorrow can be in Rio, so today I'm in São Paulo, hoje eu estou em São Paulo. Haver, to be, there is, there are. This verb is used a lot in news, but it's not very common in informal language in everyday casual conversations. Há três pessoas nesta sala. There are three people in this room. Ir, to go. So you can say, vamos para o Brasil? Let's go to Brazil. Or, eu vou viajar amanhã. I'm going traveling tomorrow. Saber, no. So you can say that you know Portuguese. Eu sei português. Or that you don't know some language. Eu não sei inglês. I don't know English. Poder. Can. Eu posso carregar 10 quilos. I can carry 10 kilos. Ver. See. So you can say, Eu vi esse filme semana passada. I saw this movie last week. Vir. To come. So vir and ver are very similar. The sound is very similar. And vir means to come. And ver means to see. So you can say, Você vem no meu aniversário amanhã? Are you coming to my birthday tomorrow? Achar. To think. So you could say, Eu acho ele bonito. I think he's cute. Or, Eu acho que amanhã vai chover. I think tomorrow's gonna rain. Ficar. Stay. There are two ways you can use the verb ficar in Portuguese. One is the same as English, stay. Eu vou ficar em casa amanhã. I'm staying home tomorrow. But you can also use it to say, where something is located, for example, onde fica o banheiro? Where's the bathroom? Querer, to want. Eu quero aprender português. I want to learn Portuguese. Or, ela quer ir ao Brasil. She wants to go to Brazil. Dar, give. So, a minha amiga me deu um presente. My friend gave me a present. Ouvir, hear. So, you can say, eu estou ouvindo a minha música favorita. I'm listening to my favorite song. Or, eu ouvi a conversa de vocês. I heard you talking. Deixar. Let. Me deixa entrar. Can you let me in? Or, eu deixei a minha prima na casa dela. I left my cousin at her home. Falar. Talk. Eu falo português. I speak Portuguese. Or, eu falei com a minha amiga. I talked to my friend. Pedir. Ask. For example, if you're hungry, you could say, Eu pedi uma pizza. I order a pizza or I asked for a pizza. Passar. Pass. It's a very useful verb because you can use it with other nouns or verbs to mean different things. For example, passar roupa, to iron clothes, or passar o tempo, to spend time. Parecer. Seem. For example, parece que vai chover hoje. It seems that it's going to rain today. Well, not today, it's very sunny here. Sentir. Feel. So you can feel sick, estou sentindo mal, or sentir-se feliz, to feel happy. Chegar, arrive. For example, a minha mãe chegou agora, my mom just arrived. Sair, leave. Eu saí de casa muito cedo, I left home very early. Comer, to eat. So this is a very useful verb, you need to know. For example, Eu comi uma feijoada hoje. I ate a feijoada today. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in our next video. See you. Ciao. <laughs>
Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hey, gente! Hi guys, Paloma here. Welcome to top 25 Portuguese nouns. Tempo. Time. Tempo can mean time, but it also means weather. So you could say, o tempo está lindo hoje. The weather is great today. Or, eu não tenho muito tempo agora. I don't have much time now. Moça. Young woman. Moça is used a lot in restaurants and stores. It's a way to call a woman to help you, like the salesperson. So you could say, Moça, você pode me ajudar? Excuse me, miss, can you please help me? Ano, year. Ano can be used to say your age, so you can say, Eu tenho 20 anos, I'm 12 years old. Jeito, way. Jeito is a very Brazilian word, it means way. So, for example, you could say, Eu vou dar um jeito nesse problema. I'll find a way to fix this problem. But we use a lot to say, Jeitinho brasileiro, that means Brazilian ways. It's just the way to do everything in the easiest possible way to find a solution or, you know, to go back home and have a beer and barbecue. <laughs> dia, day. You could say, Hoje é dia 20 de abril. Today is April 20th. Coisa, thing. Okay, so for example, you could say, Eu esqueci uma coisa em casa. I forgot something at home. Homem, man. So you could say, Ele é o homem da minha vida. He's the man of my life. Palavra. Word. So, if you're learning Portuguese, you can say, Eu sei muitas palavras em português. I know many words in Portuguese. Vida. Life. O sonho da vida dela era conhecer o Brasil. Her lifelong dream was to visit Brazil. Mão. Hands. Mão's a little bit difficult to pronounce for beginners because of this nasal sound, um. But try to practice it and you'll get better and better each time. Mão. Eu tenho cinco dedos na minha mão. I have five fingers in my hand. <laughs> Hora. Hour. Hora can mean hour, but also means time sometimes in Portuguese. So you could say, já são cinco horas. It's already five o'clock. Or... Já é hora de voltar para casa. It's already time to go home. Criança. Child. Quando eu era criança, eu queria visitar o Japão. When I was a child, I wanted to visit Japan. Olho. Eye. Okay, so one expression you can say in Portuguese is Eu tô de olho em você. I got my eyes on you. Mulher. Woman. Qual seria a mulher perfeita para você? What would be the perfect woman to you? Lugar, place. Eu amo esse lugar. É tão tranquilo. I love this place. It's so peaceful. Trabalho, work. Trabalho can mean work or job. So, você gosta do seu trabalho? Do you enjoy your job? Semana, week. Semana means week. And weekend would be fim de semana or end of the week. So, you could say, Eu vou à praia nos fins de semana. I go to the beach on the weekends. Moço, young man. Just like moça that we talked before, moça is a way to call a man in a store or a restaurant. So you could say, Moço, você pode trazer a conta, por favor? Excuse me, young man, can you please bring me the check? Senhor, sir. Senhor is the polite way to say you in Portuguese for man. So, você is the informal way and senhor, the formal way. O senhor precisa de ajuda? Would you like some help, sir? País. Country. Quantos países você já visitou? How many countries have you visited already? Amigo. Friend. Amigo is used for a male friends and for a female friends, you would say amiga. Eu fui visitar a minha amiga semana passada. I went to visit my friend last week. Problema. Problem. You could use this word, for example, to say Sem problemas, no problem Or Qual seu problema? What's the matter with you? 
casa, house. Casa means house, but it can also mean home. For example, eu vou para casa, I'm going home. A casa dele fica muito longe. His house is very far from here. Amor, love. Amor means love, so you can say the person you love, amor. For example, amor, vem cá. Honey, come here. Or love, come here. Cabeça, head. Ai, que dor de cabeça. Ouch, what a headache. Or ponta cabeça, which means upside down. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you subscribe to our sites and our videos. See you next time. Tchau, tchau. <laughs> Ai, que dor de cabeça. Because of this motorcycle. Hi guys! E aí, gente, tudo bom? Here Paloma here. Welcome to Top 25 Portuguese Adjectives. Bom, good. Bom is the masculine and boa would be the feminine form. Mmm, que comida boa! Mmm, what a good food! Novo, new. O meu irmão mais novo mora nos Estados Unidos. My younger brother lives in the United States. Primeiro, first. Você lembra do seu primeiro namorado? Do you remember your first boyfriend? Último. Last. Eu quero ver o último capítulo da novela. I want to watch the last episode of the soap opera. Longo. Long. Hoje foi um dia muito longo. Today was a very long day. Melhor. Better. Melhor can mean better or best. So... A minha melhor amiga veio me visitar ontem. My best friend came to visit me yesterday. Alegre. Cheerful. O Brasil é um país muito alegre. Brazil is a very cheerful country. Próprio. On. A minha mãe tem um negócio próprio. My mom owns her own business. Engraçado. Funny. Ele me mostrou um vídeo muito engraçado. He showed me a very funny video. Velho, old. So we use velho to say older brother, irmão mais velho. And the other word we learned before, novo, to say younger brother, irmão mais novo. Eu queria ter um irmão mais velho. I wanted to have an older brother. Certo, right. Eu falei que eu estava certo. I told you I was right. Grande, big. Eu gosto de cachorros grandes. I like big dogs. Bonito. Beautiful. Bonito can be used both with men and women. So you can say bonito or bonita to mean beautiful or handsome. Eu vi um homem muito bonito na rua. I saw a very handsome guy in the street. Diferente. Different. Eu pintei a minha casa e ficou bem diferente. I painted my house and it looks very different. Pequeno. Small. Pequeno means small, and if you want to say that something is very, very small or very tiny, you can say pequenininho. That is the diminutive for pequeno. Eu vi um cachorro bem pequenininho. I saw a very, very small dog. Feio. Ugly. So you could say, for example, eu achei aquela roupa feia. I think that clothes was ugly. Próximo. Next. Na próxima semana eu vou viajar. Next week, I'm going traveling. Cedo, early. Eu não gosto de acordar cedo. I don't like to wake up early. Novo, young. So, novo can mean new, as we said before, and also young. Legal, cool. In Brazil, we use legal in everyday conversations. So, you could say, Nossa, que filme legal! Wow, what a cool movie! Or, que cara legal! What a cool guy. Fofo. Cute. Fofo is used a lot by women in Brazil. So we say, Ai, que gatinho fofo. Oh, what a cute kitty. We can also say fofinho, which is the diminutive for fofo. Ai, que fofinho. Oh, so cute. 
Simples. Simple. É muito simples aprender português. It's very simple to learn Portuguese. Feliz. Happy. Eu ganhei um cachorro e estou muito feliz. I got a dog and I'm so happy. Mal. Bad. Você foi um menino mal. You were a bad boy. <risos> triste. Sad. Estou triste porque esse vídeo vai acabar. I'm so sad because this video is gonna end. So, I hope to see you in our next lesson and I hope you subscribe to our channel. See you! Tchau, tchau! Legal, <laughs> Hi guys, Paloma here. Welcome to Top 10 Lines You Need to Introduce Yourself in Portuguese. Estou aprendendo português com a PortuguesePod101.com. I'm learning Portuguese at PortuguesePod101.com. If someone asks you, how are you learning Portuguese? Como você está estudando português? You can say, eu estou estudando com a PortuguesePod101.com. Estou aprendendo português faz um ano. I've been learning Portuguese for a year. This is the answer to the question. Faz quanto tempo que você estuda português? How long have you been studying Portuguese? Eu gosto de ouvir música. I enjoy listening to music. So, if someone asks you, o que você gosta de fazer? What do you enjoy or what do you like to do? You can say, eu gosto de ouvir música. Eu moro em São Paulo. I live in São Paulo. This is the answer to the question, onde você mora? Where do you live? You could answer saying the country you live or the city you live. If it's very famous, for example, eu moro em Tóquio, I live in Tokyo, or eu moro em Nova York, I live in New York. Eu sou do Brasil, I'm from Brazil. If someone asks you, de onde você é? Where are you from? You can say, eu sou do Brasil, or eu sou brasileira, I'm Brazilian. Eu sou professor. I'm a teacher. Here you are saying your job. So you could say, eu sou professor, I'm a teacher, or eu sou estudante, I'm a student. Eu tenho 27 anos. I'm 27 years old. People may ask your age, so you answer with the verb ter, to have, in Portuguese. Eu tenho 27 anos. I am 27 years old. O meu nome é Miguel. My name is Miguel. This phrase works both for women or men, so I could say o meu nome é Paloma, as a man could say o meu nome é Miguel. Oi, prazer. Hi, nice to meet you. Oi, prazer. This is a way to introduce yourself very casually, so you can just shake hands with the person and say oi, prazer, or just give her a kiss. You could also say oi, meu nome é Paloma, prazer. Um dos meus hobbies é ler. One of my hobbies is reading. Usually when you're meeting someone new, they may ask you, what's your hobby? You could say, um dos meus hobbies é ler, or um dos meus hobbies é ver filmes. One of my hobbies is watching movies, or even, um dos meus hobbies é viajar. One of my hobbies is traveling. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our video, and don't forget to subscribe to our website and our YouTube channel. See you next time, ciao, ciao! Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to top 10 hardest words to pronounce in Portuguese. Avó, grandmother. Here you need to hear the sound of the last O in the syllable. It should be a, an open O as we say in Portuguese. Avó. A minha avó faz um bolo delicioso. My grandmother makes a delicious cake. Avô, grandfather. Can you hear the difference between avó and avô? Here you have a closed O. Avô. Meu avô era um inventor. My grandfather was an inventor. Cachorro. Dog. Here you may find the CH, cho, and the double R, ho, a little different for you. O nome do meu cachorro é Toy. The name of my dog is Toy. Coração. 
heart. This word may be hard for you because of the R-A, Ra, and the C-A-O, são. A minha almofada tem formato de coração. My pillow is heart-shaped. Mãe, mother. Here you also have a nasal sound, mãe. A minha mãe está brava comigo. My mother is angry at me. You can also say mamãe, which is mommy in English. Mão, hands. Also here we have a nasal sound, mão. Remember to use your nose to say these words. A minha mão tem cinco dedos. My hand has five fingers. Mulher, woman. Mulher has this lhe, which is L-H. It's not that hard, right? Mulher. Onde fica o banheiro das mulheres? Where is the women's bathroom? Orelhão. Payphone. I love this word in Portuguese because orelhão is big ear. And because Brazilians' payphones look like big ears here. Eu não consigo encontrar um orelhão. I can't find a payphone. Yeah, everyone has cell phone today. Quarteirão. Block. So here you also have this nasal sound and the R, quar. It's not hard, but you need to practice that to, you know, be more fluent. But if you use the caipira accent, it would be quarteiro, which is easier for English speakers. There's also a McDonald's burger that is called quarteiro. It's really big. Trabalho, job. So also you have the R and the LH here. Trabalho. You can also use the word trabalho to mean job and work. Eu gosto muito do meu trabalho. I really like my job. Or, eu tenho muito trabalho hoje. I have a lot of work today. The end, fim, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to you subscribe to our website and our videos. See you next time. Tchau, tchau. Oi gente, tudo bom? Paloma here. Welcome to Top 15 Questions You Should Know. De onde você é? Where are you from? So when you arrive in Brazil, the first person you see is gonna ask you, De onde você é? Where are you from? So you can answer it by saying, Eu sou de? Or, Eu sou dos? Or, Sou da? If you're from Mexico, you can say, Eu sou do México. You just need to be careful with the preposition in Portuguese, because we also use a uh, article together with it. So it can be de or dos or da or das, okay? O que foi que você falou? What did you say? So if someone is talking to you, you're not really listening to him, you can just say, o que foi que você falou? What did you say? Eu não falei nada. I didn't say anything. Eu falei que eu te amo. I told you I love you. Paloma here. Welcome to top 15 favorite words chosen by fans. Amor. Love. Amor is probably one of the favorite words in many languages. So you can say amor to call someone you love, like honey or my love in English. But you can also use the verb amar, which is to love. Eu te amo. I love you. Feliz. Happy. We use happy to say congratulations or happy birthday to someone. Feliz aniversario. But you can also say eu estou feliz. I'm happy. Frequentemente, often. Probably someone chose this word because it's a little difficult to say. You could say, Eu frequentemente vou à praia. I often go to the beach. Hoje, today. Hoje eu estou estudando português. Today I'm studying Portuguese. Jesus Cristo. Jesus Christ. This is probably a good word for Christians. Some expressions you can use is, for example, Jesus amado, my love to Jesus. Nascimento, birth. We could relate nascimento with Jesus Christ. And we have, for example, o Natal é o nascimento de Jesus Cristo. Christmas is the birth of Jesus Christ. Olá, hello. If you want to introduce yourself, you could say olá and also oi, which is the quickest way to say it. Olá, gente. Hi, everyone. Pantufa, slipper. Some people use pantufas in Brazil, but since it's very hot, some people also use chinelos or sandals when they are at home. No inverno, eu gosto de usar pantufas. On winter, I like to wear slippers. Querer, want. 
You can use querer to say that you want to order something. Eu quero um copo de água. I want a glass of water. And you can also say, eu quero visitar o Brasil. I want to visit Brazil. Tchau. Bye. When we are leaving, we say tchau or tchau tchau. Is the way to say goodbye. We hardly ever say adeus, which is goodbye. This sounds very formal and very sad because it means you'll never see the person again. You can also say até mais or see you soon. Junto, together. You can say, eu quero ficar junto com você. I want to be together with you. Liberdade, freedom. In São Paulo, there's a famous subway station and also a neighborhood called Liberdade. It was before a Japanese neighborhood, but now we have many Chinese and Koreans too. Eu vou para Liberdade comer comida japonesa. I go to Liberdade to eat Japanese food. A estátua da Liberdade está em Nova York. The Statue of Liberty is in New York. Salvação. Salvation. Eu não estudei para a prova, mas a professora cancelou. Essa foi a minha salvação. I didn't study for the test, but the teacher canceled. That was my salvation. Saudade. Nostalgia. Saudade is one of the most favorite words in Portuguese because it's kind of hard to translate it to other languages. You could say nostalgia or to miss someone. Eu fiquei com muitas saudades de você. I missed you. Or que saudades daquela época. How I miss those times. Tá bom. Okay. Tá bom is a very useful phrase because if someone says something and you want to agree with her, you can just say, tá bom. Yeah, that's okay. O vídeo já está terminando, tá bom? The video is about to end, okay? Okay, guys, see you next time. Tudo bem? And bye-bye. Tchau, tchau. I like to wear pantufas. Slippers. <laughs>
Yeah, that's a good one, right? I don't think many people like to do cleaning. I don't. But if someone comes to you and say, Você pode descansar. You can take a break. Eu vou fazer a faxina hoje. I'll do the cleaning today. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I allow someone to do that for me. The end. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you in our next video. Ciao, ciao. Oi, gente. Hi, everyone. Eu sou a Paloma. Paloma here. Welcome to top 10 phrases you never want to hear. A gente deveria sair com outras pessoas. We should see other people. Yeah, sounds like a breaking up, right? Eu acho que a gente deveria sair com outras pessoas. Yeah, I think we should see other people. A gente precisa conversar. We need to talk. That's not a good phrase. Especially if your girlfriend tells you that you might have done something wrong. Querido, vem aqui. A gente precisa conversar. Honey, come here. We need to talk. Not good. Desculpa, eu esqueci. Sorry, I forgot. So if your teacher comes to you and say, Você preparou a apresentação? Did you prepare the presentation? You just say, Desculpa, eu esqueci. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, you might not get a good grade at that subject. Eu não tenho seu dinheiro hoje. I don't have your money today. You might be a good friend and lend money to your friends, but then when you need that money back, you might say, Que meu dinheiro? What about my money? And a bad answer would be, Eu não tenho seu dinheiro hoje. I don't have your money today. Eu te falei. I told you so. Especially moms do that, right? So if you want to go out to a place and your mom tells you, leva uma blusa, take a blouse with you, take a coat with you, and you just say, não, não precisa. No, I don't need that. So when you come back all wet or cold, she might tell you, eu te falei, I told you. Não é você, sou eu. It's not you, it's me. When someone is trying to break up with you, they might use this phrase. So they don't want to, you know, hurt your feelings, quebrar o seu coração, break your heart. So they might say, No, mas o problema não é você, sou eu. No, the problem is not you, it's me. Obrigada pelo currículo. Infelizmente, a vaga já foi preenchida. Thank you for your resume. Unfortunately, the position has been filled. That's a pretty bad sentence, right? So if you're looking forward to get a job and you're waiting, waiting for the answer from the company and they just send you this email or by phone. Obrigado pelo currículo. Infelizmente, a vaga já foi preenchida. Thank you for your resume. Unfortunately, the position has been filled. Você engordou? Have you gained weight? Yeah, people don't like to hear that, right? So you just say, Ah, você está diferente. Oh, you look different. Don't, don't say, você engordou. You have a gain weight. Você tem um fio de cabelo branco. You have a gray hair. I think young people don't care that much about gray hairs. I also have some. But when you're getting older, you know, like 40s or 50s, you don't like, want to have gray hairs at all. So if you come to your auntie, or your uncle say, Você tem um fio de cabelo branco. You have a gray hair. You might be like, Oh no, I'm getting old. Você está demitido. You're fired. I think that's the worst sentence you never want to hear. If your boss don't look very happy with you, he might come to your office and say, Come here, vem cá. Você está demitido. You're fired. The end. Okay, that's it for today. No more bad sentences. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you don't listen to those sentences at all. See you next time. Ciao! Jade Furuta, and today we're doing Portuguese weekly words. Let's start. This week's theme is the weather. Ensolarado. Ensolarado means sunny. Hoje está ensolarado. Today is so sunny. Fresco. Cool. You can say fresco for cool weather or you can say fresco for vegetables, meat. It means fresh. Cool. Eu gosto de abacaxis 
frescos. Abacaxi means pineapple. So, I like fresh pineapples. Eu gosto de abacaxi fresco. Nublado. It means cloudy. Hoje o tempo está nublado. Tempo means time or weather. Today is cloudy. Ventando. Ventando means it's windy. Hoje está ventando. Ontem estava ventando. Today is windy. Yesterday it was windy. Relâmpago. Lightning. Olha esse relâmpago. Meu Deus! Look at this lightning. Oh my God! At the office. Yeah, I know you like that. <laughs> colega. Colega. Which is colleague. Essa é a minha colega de trabalho. This is my work colleague. Empresa. Company. Eu trabalho para uma empresa japonesa. E você? I work for a Japanese company. What about you? Escritório. That means office. Eu vou ao escritório todos os dias. I go to the office every day. Salário. And I'm sure that's one of your favorite words. It means salary. Hoje é dia de salário. Today is salary day. It's payment day. Vamos tomar uma cerveja gelada? You're probably gonna hear this a lot in Brazil. Vamos. Let's go. Cerveja gelada means cold beer. Brazilians really love that. Turno. Shift. Ai, que droga. Hoje eu tenho turno noturno. Que droga means that sucks. Today I have a night shift. Oh. In the classroom. Let's do this. <laughs> lição de casa. Homework. Hoje você tem lição de casa. Today you have homework. Prova. Test. Or it could mean to prove something. Hoje você tem prova. Today you have a test. Aluno. Student. You can say aluno or aluna. Aluna is for girl. Eu sou aluna dessa escola. I am a student of this school. Aula. Class. Bem-vindo à aula de hoje. Welcome to today's class. Caderno. Notebook. Professora, me desculpe, eu esqueci o caderno. Teacher, I'm sorry, I forgot my notebook. Yeah, you might get in trouble for that one. Computer words. Fones de ouvido. Headphones, you could say, você poderia, por favor, usar seus fones de ouvido? Could you please wear your headphones? Impressora, printer. Me desculpe, a nossa impressora está quebrada. I'm sorry, our printer is broken. Microfone. Obviously, that is microphone. <laughs> uh, vamos ligar o microfone? Let's turn on the microphone. Monitor. Monitor. Sim. <laughs> Por favor, olhe para o monitor. Please look at the monitor. Teclado. Keyboard. Você sabe tocar teclado? Do you know how to play the keyboard? We use the same word for the piano type or for the computer type. It's exactly the same, just like English. When I was about 14, I tried to play keyboard. <laughs> I also played a little bit of guitar, which my dad forced me. But I would like to one day play Teclado again. Negative adjectives. Bravo. Angry. In my case, that would be brava because I'm a girl. Angry. Estou muito brava com você. I'm so mad at you. I'm so angry at you. Estou muito brava com você. Caro. Expensive. Isso é muito caro. Meu Deus. This is so expensive. Oh my God. Difícil. Difficult. 
Esse livro é muito difícil. Não entendo nada. This book is so difficult. I cannot understand anything. Nada means nothing. Ai, que nojento. Disgusting. I have to admit I use this word a lot. Que nojento. That's disgusting. Uh, let's see. Eating with your hands before washing them. Sweating a lot and not wiping yourself. <laughs> sujo. Dirty. O seu quarto está muito sujo. Your room is so dirty. Yes, my mother used to say that a lot. In your wallet. Cartão de débito. Cartão de débito. Debit card. Me desculpe, eu só tenho cartão de débito. I'm sorry, I only have a debit card. Com licença, excuse me. Cartão de visita. Cartão de visita. Business card. Você pode me dar o seu cartão de visita, por favor? Can you please give me your business card? Oh, me desculpe. Acabou. I'm sorry. Just finished. Yeah. Or maybe they just don't want to give you a card. Carteira de motorista. Driver's license. Eu não tenho carteira de motorista. I don't have a driver's license. Coupon. <laughs> coupon is coupon. Very similar, right? It's confusing. Você tem algum cupom hoje? Do you have any coupons today? Like you're in the supermarket, you know? They might ask you, você tem algum cupom? Sales coupon. Yeah, those are useful, right? I like them a lot. Dinheiro. Cash. Não posso usar muito dinheiro hoje. I can't spend much money today. Home appliances. Our first word is ar-condicionado. I want it right now, actually. It's pretty hot here. Ar-condicionado means air conditioner. Eu queria ter um ar-condicionado. I wanted to have an air conditioner. Next word is aspirador de pó. That means vacuum cleaner. Aspirador means to vacuum. And pó actually means powder. Eu não tenho um aspirador de pó. I don't have a vacuum cleaner. Fogão. Stove. Eu tenho um fogão maravilhoso. I have a wonderful stove. Yes, that's true. I have a big stove at home and I can bake cakes anytime, but I don't. I love Brazilian cake. You should try as well. Chocolate cake. It's really rich and heavy and super sweet. Máquina de lavar roupa. Washing machine. You could say, Eu comprei uma máquina de lavar roupa novinha. That means, I just bought a brand new washing machine. I actually have a brand new washing machine in my house. And I'm really happy with it because when I'm in a hurry, there's this magic button that you can um, dry the clothes without having to use a separate machine. Beep. And I'm saved. Ventilador. Ventilador. Ventilador means fan. À noite, eu deixo o ventilador ligado. That means, at night, I leave my fan on. Bugs. Mmm. Aranha, spider. The first thing that came into my mind was Spider-Man. So Spider-Man in Portuguese is homem aranha. Homem, of course, it means man. Meu primo adora o homem aranha. My cousin loves Spider-Man. Oh, I don't like this one. <laughs> Barata. It has two meanings actually. Barata means cockroach, but it also means cheap. Eu odeio barata. É nojento. That means I hate cockroaches. It's disgusting. <laughs> Essa blusa foi muito barata. That means this blouse was very cheap. Formiga. Formiga. That means ant. Well, I just remembered actually this week I was talking to my Canadian friend and I called him, you're such a little ant. And 
he couldn't really understand it. So I had to explain to him that in Brazil, when a person has a sweet tooth, you can call him or her, you're such a little ant. Você é uma formiguinha. You are a little ant. He's like, uh, okay. <laughs> mosca. Mosca. Fly. Olha, tem uma mosca ali. Olha means look. There is a fly right there. I was living in the 28th floor and they would still get there. I think they took the elevator just to visit me. Joaninha. Oh, I like this one. It's so cute. I remember when I was in kindergarten in Brazil and we were always trying to find those because they're so pretty. Ladybug. Ladybug. Joaninha. Ninha is actually um, a cute way of calling people and things. Essa Joaninha tão bonitinha. This ladybug is such a cutie. Hobbies. Mm, next one. Dançar. To dance. Actually, that is really my hobby. I love to dance. I love reggaeton, actually, it's my favorite. I can also dance samba, of course. And I love all kinds of Latino dance. Eu amo dançar. I love to dance. Desenhar. To draw. Quando eu era criança, eu adorava desenhar. When I was a kid, I used to love to draw. I used to draw all the time, like objects, people, dresses. I wanted to be a fashion designer. I should probably start drawing again. Violon. Uh, violon means guitar. <laughs> Eu costumava tocar violão. Eu costumava tocar violão. I used to play the guitar when I was um, in junior high school. It's hard to play the guitar when you, <laughs> when you have nails like this. It was a battle between me and the teacher. So yeah, I used to run away, hide after school all the time. So I, I didn't have to go to the classes. Jogar poker, to play poker. Eu não sei jogar poker. I don't know how to play poker. I know poker face. <laughs> yeah, I know the song. <laughs> Navegar na internet. Surf the net. Navegar na internet. We can say navegar na internet and we can also say surfar na internet. To surf the internet. Eu sou viciada em navegar na internet. I'm addicted to surfing the internet. Fruits, mm. fruta, abacaxi, pineapple, abacaxi. Have you tried the um, churrasco Brazilian barbecue? They ha also have as a dessert the barbecued pineapple. It's so delicious. Eu adoro churrasco de abacaxi. I love pineapple churrasco. Mm, I already feel hungry now. <laughs> Damasco, apricot. Eu nunca vi damasco no Brasil. I have never seen apricots in Brazil. Never, actually. I see a lot of uh, passion fruit, mangoes, pineapples, watermelon, melons, loads of tropical fruits, but I've never seen an apricot before. Melancia, watermelon. A mulher melancia é muito famosa no Brasil. A mulher melancia é muito famosa no Brasil. The watermelon woman is very famous in Brazil. Melão, melão, melon, melão, melon. Melão doce no Japão é muito caro. Sweet melon in Japan is very expensive. Yeah, it's true. Uva, grape. Suco de uva é mais gostoso do que vinho. Suco de uva é mais gostoso do que vinho. Grape juice is more delicious than wine. Rooms. Quarto. Bedroom. O meu quarto é muito pequeno. My room is so small. Banheiro. Bathroom. Me desculpe, onde é o banheiro? Excuse me, where's the bathroom? Cozinha. 
Kitchen. O que aconteceu? A cozinha está uma bagunça. What happened? The kitchen is a mess. So, when you're sharing house with other people, like myself at the moment, that happens sometimes. So, you're gonna deal with it? <laughs> sala de estar. Living room. Vamos para a sala de estar assistir um filme. Vamos para a sala de estar assistir um filme. Let's go to the living room and watch a movie. Colors. Cores. Azul. Blue. Azul. Azul. What, what is blue? The ocean. O oceano é tão azul. <laughs> no, this is boring. <laughs> A água dessa piscina é azul cristalina. A água dessa piscina é azul cristalina. The color of this pool is crystal blue. Branco. White. Por favor, vista branco na festa de hoje. Por favor, vista branco na festa de hoje. Please wear white for today's party. Preto. Black. O meu cachorro no Brasil é preto. My dog in Brazil is black. Actually, his nickname also was preto, which means black. Roxo. Purple. Roxo é uma das minhas cores favoritas. Roxo é uma das minhas cores favoritas. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Just like Katy Perry colors, like pink, purple, yellow, verde, verde, green. A grama do vizinho é sempre mais verde. A grama do vizinho é sempre mais verde. I'm sure you know this one. The neighbor's grass is always greener. Month of the year. Dezembro. December. Very similar, right? O meu aniversário é em dezembro. My birthday is in December. Janeiro. January. Eu vou estar de férias em janeiro. I'll be on holiday in January. Julho. July. Em julho, eu fui à praia. In July, I went to the beach. Junho. June. Vamos à festa junina em junho. Festa Junina is a very traditional party. In June, we dress up, do little dances and play many games. They have many little tents and you can buy all this traditional food. It's really fun and actually, I think it's probably more fun and more rich in culture than Carnival at the moment. Festa Junina. Novembro. November. Em novembro, eu estarei na Califórnia. In November, I will be in California. And I can't wait. Your face. Let's see. Boca. Boca. Mouth. Boca, boca, boca. <laughs> A minha boca é um pouco pequena. A minha boca é um pouco pequena. My mouth is a little bit small. My mouth is a little bit small. Dentes. Dentes. Teeth. Você tem dentes perfeitos. Você tem dentes perfeitos. You have perfect teeth. Queixo. Queixo. Chin. <laughs> Meu queixo está coçando. My chin is itching. Coçando means itching. Testa. Testa. Forehead. Eu tenho a testa grande. I have a big forehead. Nariz. Nariz. Nose. O meu nariz é pontudo. O meu nariz é pontudo. I have a sharp nose. Flavors. Amargo. Bitter. Você gosta de chocolate amargo? Você gosta de chocolate amargo? Do you like bitter chocolate? Eu não gosto muito. I don't like it very much. Azedo. Azedo. Sour. Mmm. Que sopa azeda. This soup is so sour. Doce. Doce. Sweet. Eu gosto de doce de abóbora. Eu gosto de doce de abóbora. I like pumpkin sweets. This is a very typical and a very traditional 
sweet from Brazil. It's very, very, very sweet, but it's also very delicious. So if you have the chance, make sure you try doce de abóbora, pumpkin sweet. Picante, spicy. I think in the past lesson, I told you about the traditional dish from Bahia called acarajé, which is a little bit spicy. So you could make the sentence like, tome cuidado. O acarajé é um pouco picante. Tome cuidado. O acarajé é um pouco picante. Be careful. Acarajé is a little bit spicy. Salgado. Salty. Hum, essa feijoada está um pouco salgada. This feijoada is a little bit salty. Yeah, be very careful when you make feijoada. It's very easy to make it too salty. Always check between jobs. Agricultor, agricultor. Farmer. O meu pai era um agricultor. O meu pai era um agricultor. My dad was a farmer. Dona de casa. Dona de casa. Housewife. Dona means to own something. And casa means house. So, dona de casa, house owner. A minha mãe não é dona de casa. Ela trabalha também. A minha mãe não é dona de casa. Ela trabalha também. My mom is not a housewife. She works as well. Enfermeira. Nurse. Minha amiga é uma enfermeira. Minha amiga é uma enfermeira. My friend is a nurse. Funcionário de escritório. Office worker. So, escritório means office and funcionário, of course, it means worker. So, funcionário de escritório. It's very long, I know. <laughs> Você também é um funcionário de escritório? Você também é um funcionário de escritório? Are you also an office worker? Programador. Programmer. Eu preciso de um programador para me ajudar. Eu preciso de um programador para me ajudar. I need a programmer to help me. Furniture. Cama. Cama. Bed. Minha cama é muito pequena. Minha cama é muito pequena. My bed is too small. Actually, it's just okay size, but I'm looking forward to getting a king size bed. Estante. Bookshelf. Nossa, que estante enorme você tem. Nossa, que estante enorme você tem. Wow, what a huge bookshelf you have. Muitos livros. Many books. <laughs> Sofá. Sofá. Very similar, right? Eu quero comprar um sofá novo. Eu quero comprar um sofá novo. I want to buy a new sofa. Descanso para os pés. Descanso para os pés. Footrest. Nossa, que legal! Esse ônibus tem descanso para os pés. Nossa, que legal! Esse ônibus tem descanso para os pés. Wow, that's so cool! This bus has a footrest. Plants. Mm, I don't have any plants at home right now, but I should probably get some. I like plants. You have a like good vibe. Arbusto. Bush. Eu caí no arbusto. Eu caí no arbusto. I fell into the bush. That actually happened to my friend, not to me. <laughs> Árvore, tree. Eu tenho árvores de acerola no Brasil. Eu tenho árvores de acerola no Brasil. I have acerola trees in Brazil. Yes, I got really lucky. In my home in Brazil, there are about like two or three. They give us some really, really good and big red acerola. We can make juice with it. It's amazing and it's so healthy. 
You should try the real acerola from Brazil. It's amazing. Grama, grass. Tá na hora de aparar a grama. Tá na hora de aparar a grama. It's time to trim the grass. Galho, galho. Galho means branch. Eu quebrei o galho. Eu quebrei o galho. I broke the branch. Quebrei o galho can also mean that I did a favor. Yes. When we're doing a favor to someone, we can say quebrar o galho. So, eu quebrei o galho. I did a favor. Semente. Seed. Eu comprei sementes de abóbora. Eu comprei sementes de abóbora. I bought pumpkin seeds. Cooking. Mm, I started cooking recently, trying to eat healthy. Carne de boi. Carne de boi. Beef. A lot of times we just say carne and we already know we're talking about beef. But if it's uh, pork, then we would say carne de porco. Eu só como carne de boi uma vez por semana. Eu só como carne de boi uma vez por semana. I only eat beef once a week. Frango. Frango. Chicken. Frango chicken. Mm. Eu gosto de comer frango grelhado. É muito saudável. Eu gosto de comer frango grelhado. É muito saudável. I like to eat grilled chicken. It's very healthy. Bolo! Cake! Oh my god, I love cake. I love Brazilian cake. If you haven't tried, you need to try it because it's amazing. Eu amo bolo de chocolate brasileiro. Eu amo bolo de chocolate brasileiro. I'm getting hungry just by talking about it. I love Brazilian chocolate cake. I really do. Ingrediente. Ingrediente. Ingredient. Está faltando ingrediente para fazer o bolo. Está faltando ingrediente para fazer o bolo. There is an ingredient missing to bake the cake. Yes, I wish there was someone baking this cake for me so much. Pimenta do reino. Pimenta do reino. Pimenta means pepper. Pimenta do reino means black pepper. Eu gosto de usar pimenta do reino quando estou cozinhando. Eu gosto de usar pimenta do reino quando estou cozinhando. I like to use black pepper when I'm cooking. Personalities. Mm, interesting topic. Animado. Lively. Uh, uh. Eu tô muito animada hoje. Eu tô muito animada hoje. I'm very lively today. In the chair? Dance in the chair? How do you do that? I'm gonna chair samba. Chair samba. Orgulhoso. Orgulhoso. Proud. If it's a girl, orgulhosa. Eu sou muito orgulhosa. I am very proud. Always be careful not to offend anyone because that tends to happen a lot when you're not used to this type of personality. <laughs> Sometimes I overreact, but it's just how we are in Brazil, so just get used to it. <laughs> bravo, angry. O meu pai está bravo comigo. My dad is angry at me. <sighs> it is scary. My dad looks pretty scary when he's angry. Educado, polite. Os japoneses são muito educados. Os japoneses são muito educados. Japanese people are very polite. Rigoroso. Rigoroso. Strict. O meu pai sempre foi muito rigoroso comigo. My dad has always been really strict with me. Post office. Caixa de correio. Mailbox. A minha caixa de correio está quebrada. A minha caixa de correio está quebrada. 
My mailbox is broken. Carta. Carta. Letter. Estou muito feliz. Recebi uma carta do Brasil. Estou muito feliz. Recebi uma carta do Brasil. I'm so happy. I received a letter from Brazil. I kind of missed that. Maybe I should write one to my family in Brazil. Carteiro. Mailman. O carteiro veio essa manhã. O carteiro veio essa manhã. The mailman came this morning. I have to open the window. I'm like, wait, I'm coming down. Because sometimes I just leave. So I'm like, hurrying, opening the window, like, please wait for me. And then I go downstairs and I pick up my stuff. Correios. Post office. Infelizmente, os correios não abrem de sábado. Infelizmente, os correios não abrem de sábado. Unfortunately, the post office doesn't open on Saturdays. Selo. Stamp. Não se esqueça de comprar um selo também. Não se esqueça de comprar um selo também. Don't forget to buy a stamp as well. Memos. Ok, let's go. Vamos. Cabra. Goat. Oh, I love goats. They're so cute. Meh. Meh. Every time I see a goat, especially a baby goat, I try to touch them, but they run. I will not give up. Hum. Os bebês de cabra são tão bonitinhos. Os bebês de cabra são tão bonitinhos. The baby goats are so cute. Cachorro. Dog. Quando eu era pequena, eu tinha um cachorro chamado Preto. Quando eu era pequena, eu tinha um cachorro chamado Preto. When I was little, I had a dog called Preto. Preto means black. He was a very smart dog. He could even sit like this. Yeah, I miss you, Preto. Saudades. I miss you. Camundongo. Mouse. Eu nunca vi um camundongo na minha vida. Eu nunca vi um camundongo na minha vida. I've never seen a mouse in my life. It's true. I don't really want to see one, actually. No, not really. <laughs> Castor. Beaver. It kind of sounds like Bieber. <laughs> like a Bieber fan. A Bieber? <laughs> Eu também nunca vi um castor. Eu também nunca vi um castor. I have never seen a beaver either. Cordeiro, lamb. Eu quero ter um cordeiro de estimação. Eu quero ter um cordeiro de estimação. I want to have a lamb as a pet. Because they're so cute. Clothes. Yay, I like this topic. Calça. Pants. Eu normalmente não visto calças. Eu normalmente não visto calças. I normally don't wear pants. No, I don't like pants. They're uncomfortable and they're tight. So I avoid winter as much as possible. I try to always be in a warm country during winter. Camiseta. T-shirt. Eu ganhei essa camiseta de lembrança. Eu ganhei essa camiseta de lembrança. I got the t-shirt as a souvenir. Obrigada. Thank you. Casaco. Coat. O seu casaco está logo ali. O seu casaco está logo ali. Your coat is right there. Vestido. Dress. Eu tenho muitos vestidos de festa. Eu tenho muitos vestidos de festa. I have many party dresses. Yeah. I love dancing. I love buying dresses. Manga comprida. Long sleeved. Hoje está frio. Eu vou vestir manga comprida. Hoje está frio. 
Eu vou vestir manga comprida. Today is cold. I'm gonna wear long sleeves. Clothing accessories. So, first word is cachecol. Ah! Ta-da! Cachecol, scarf. Eu adoro o meu cachecol verde. Eu adoro o meu cachecol verde. I adore my green scarf. It's aerial color. Chapéu. Hat. Chapéu. Hat. Eu tenho um chapéu com a bandeira do Brasil. Eu tenho um chapéu com a bandeira do Brasil. I have a hat with the Brazilian flag. I got this for World Cup. <laughs> Colar. Colar. Necklace. Eu quero comprar um colar de pérolas. Eu quero comprar um colar de pérolas. I want to buy a pearl necklace. Mm, I remember when I was a kid and I thought that pearl necklaces were just like the most beautiful thing in the world. <laughs> Probably because I saw girls, were, like women, beautiful women wearing them in nice movies. And I was like, I really want one, I really want one. Luva, gloves, luva. É difícil para mim comprar luvas. É difícil para mim comprar luvas. It's hard for me to buy gloves because I have really long fingers and they always stop right here. Yeah. Brinco, earrings. Brinco. Earrings. Eu quero comprar brincos de jade. Eu quero comprar brincos de jade. I want to buy jade earrings because I have I have the necklace, I have a um, bracelet, but I've never had jade earrings, so yeah, I want to buy a matching one. Food! Mm, I'm so hungry now. Mm. Okay, let's go. Arroz, rice. Arroz, rice. No Brasil, nós comemos arroz todos os dias. No Brasil, nós comemos arroz todos os dias. In Brazil, we eat rice every day. Yeah, most of the time we eat beans and rice every day. It's the most typical food in Brazil. Doce, candy, doce, candy. Hum, eu adoro comer doce. Eu adoro comer doce. I love eating candy. Hum, so good. I like doce de leite. That is uh, doce de leite. It's like caramel, milk, cream. Hum, my dad can make it. Like homemade is the best. If you have the chance, you should definitely try. It's amazing. Carne, meat. Carne, meat. Eu não como muita carne. Eu não como muita carne. I don't eat much meat. Even though in Brazil, most of the people eat meat every day. At least a little bit. Frutos do mar. Seafood. Frutos do mar, seafood. Fruits of the sea is how you translate it. Eu como bastante frutos do mar. Eu como bastante frutos do mar. I eat a lot of seafood. Actually, I love seafood. Bolo, cake. Bolo, cake. Eu amo bolo de chocolate. Eu amo bolo de chocolate. I love chocolate cake especially brazilian oh my god it's my favorite it's so delicious it's my favorite sweet ever brazilian chocolate cake if you try brazilian chocolate cake you will never be the same acabou obrigada por assistir and i see you next week um beijo tchau Hello everyone!
this is Jade Furuta, and I'm here for another Portuguese Weekly Words. Get ready! Today's theme is going through customs. Mm, that sounds good. I love traveling. I guess you do too if you want to learn Portuguese. Autorização de reentrada. That's a really long word. Autorização. <laughs> do you want to say that? Autorização. Reentry permit. You could hear phrases like Você necessita de autorização de reentrada. You need a reentry permit. Get your paperwork ready before you travel, huh? Nacionalidade. This one is easy, right? Nationality. Eu tenho nacionalidade brasileira. I have Brazilian nationality. Qual é a sua nacionalidade? What's your nationality? Passaporte. I guess you know this one too. Passport. Onde está o seu passaporte? Where is your passport? Meu passaporte? Hmm. Está aqui. My passport is here. Aqui. Visto. Visto means visa. Você tem o visto necessário para o Brasil? Do you have the needed visa for Brazil? Confiscar. Confiscate. Me desculpe, mas eu tenho que confiscar isso. I'm sorry, but I'll have to confiscate this. That's it. We finished our Portuguese weekly words. I enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed as well. See you next time. Beijo. Oi, gente. This is Jade Furuta. And welcome to another Portuguese Weekly Words. So let's start. Today's theme is direction words. Uh, direction reminds me of One Direction. Chamo One Direction. <laughs> Beijo. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Direita. Direita. That means right. Right. Direita. Por favor. Vire à direita. Please turn right. Left. East. Far East movement. <laughs> what can I say? Fica ao leste. It's at the east side. Sul. South. Eu sou da América do Sul. I'm from South America. Fora. Fora. Outside. Deixe o cachorro lá fora. Leave the dog outside. Yeah, normally in Brazil we always keep the dogs, the pets outside. And we also feed them um, normal food. And I remember <laughs> trying to feed my dog dog food, poor thing. He got so stomach sick. Dentro, inside. In Brazil we cook a lot, we eat a lot of food. My family cooks for me and I eat all the time. <laughs> Eu gosto de comer muito quando estou dentro de casa. I like to eat a lot when I'm inside home. This is all. This was our Portuguese weekly words. I hope you're learning and I'm hoping you're having a good time with our classes. Bikis, beijo, tchau, tchau. Hello, oi gente. This is Jade Furuta, and welcome to our Portuguese Weekly Words. Let's start! Closing actions. Colocar, to put on. Vou colocar esse colar. I'm gonna put on this necklace. Combinar, to match. Tem que combinar com os seus sapatos. It has to match your shoes. Experimentar. Experimentar. I really like this word. To try on. It also means to experiment. Vou experimentar esse vestido. I'm gonna try on this dress. Vou experimentar algo novo. I'm gonna try something new. Lavar. To wash. Odeio lavar roupas. Odeio lavar louça. I hate to wash clothes. I hate to wash dishes. Something I used to hear a lot. Vai lavar a louça, menina. Go wash the dishes, girl. Tirar. To take off. 
Tirar a roupa, to take off your clothes. Tirar foto, to take pictures. I love to take pictures. That's it. This was our Portuguese weekly words. Are you learning fast? I hope so. See you next time. Tchau, tchau. Oi, gente. Olá, everyone. This is Jade Furuta. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words. So let's check out our theme today. Rooms in your house. Interesting. I actually live in a house now. After a long time living in tiny apartments. Our first word is banheiro. Banheiro means bathroom. Onde fica o banheiro? Where is the bathroom? Cozinha. Kitchen. Minha cozinha agora é muito grande. My kitchen now is very big. I like to cook. And you? Do you know how to cook Brazilian food? Quarto. Bedroom. O meu quarto é muito pequeno. My room is very small. Quarto also means fourth. Sala de estar. Living room. Actually, uh, it's more common to hear sala, which means room. If you're talking about a house or if you're in a house, you can just say sala. Estamos na sala assistindo filme. We are in the living room watching a movie. Sala de jantar. Dining room. Minha sala de jantar foi renovada. My dining room was renovated. That's it. That's how you can talk about your house now. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned some new words. Obrigada e um beijo. Tchau, tchau. Olá. Hello, this is Jade Furuta. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words. Our theme today is at the movies. In Portuguese, no cinema. Ator. Ator means actor. Esse é o meu ator favorito. This is my favorite actor. I like Nicolas Cage, Zac Efron, Leonardo DiCaprio. Atriz, actress. Eu quero ser uma atriz. I want to be an actress. That is true. I like Penelope Cruz. I used to get that I look like her a lot. She always does so many amazing movies. Another Latina actress, uh, Sofia Vergara. She is so funny and her accent is just amazing. Yeah, I like those two actresses. Uh, diretor, director. Esse é um diretor de filme famoso. This is a famous movie director. Enredo, plot. Eu gosto muito desse enredo. I like this plot very much. Filme. Easy. Film. Movie. O meu filme predileto é Wicker Park. My favorite movie is Wicker Park. It's a uh, suspense mixed with a little bit of romance. It's that kind of movie that you have to really squeeze your brain. Um filme muito, muito bom. A very, very good movie. Uh, actually, two days ago, I watched Maleficent. Yeah. Oh my God. I have no words. It's like, ooh, like I haven't seen such a great... E aí, gente, tudo bom? Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words, Holiday Edition. Today we are going to talk about Tiradentes Day. Tiradentes. Tiradentes. Tiradentes is a Brazilian national hero. He was part of the Inconfidencia Minha. Also, there's one city where Tiradentes was from, and now it's named Tiradentes City. Tem muitas cidades históricas em Minas Gerais. There are a lot of historical cities in Minas Gerais. Inconfidencia Mineira. Minas Gerais Conspiracy. So this is called Inconfidencia or Conspiracy because actually the revolution didn't happen because they killed everyone before everything happened. One person of the group actually told the policeman about their plans because he was owing a lot of money to the courts. So that's... Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to another Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. So let's see what holiday we have to talk about today. Boyfriend and Girlfriend's Day. Dia dos Namorados. Dia dos Namorados. Boyfriend and Girlfriend's Day or Lover's Day. So this is a very important day for Brazilian couples because it's very famous in Brazil because he's kind of a matchmaker. So when a boy or a girl can find a husband or a wife, they just ask the saint for some help. A simple sentence would be O dia de Santo Antônio é dia 13 de junho. St. Anthony's Day 
is on June 13th. Okay, so that means the boyfriend and girlfriend's day is one day before the Saint Anthony's day. Namorado, namorada, boyfriend or girlfriend. A very nice tradition we have in Brazil is that when a boy is going to ask a girl to be his girlfriend, he usually gives her a ring. So it's usually a silver ring and we use it on our right hand. And it's called Aliança de Compromisso or Compromise Ring. So let's see a sample sentence. Eu ganhei uma aliança de compromisso do meu namorado. I won a compromise ring from my boyfriend. Encontro. Date. So, encontros in Brazil are just like in any other country. We just go out to a nice restaurant or have a nice romantic trip. And we just like to spend time with the person we like. Eu marquei um encontro com o meu namorado amanhã. I got a date with my boyfriend tomorrow. Simpatias. Sympathies. Sympatias is something we do to ask Santo Antonio to give us a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Usually girls do that to ask for a husband. A very famous one is that you get the same image and you turn it upside down. And it's kind of asking him if he doesn't give you a husband, you're not going to turn it up again. So yeah, that's one of the most famous. Sympatias. Eu fiz uma simpatia para pedir um marido. I did a sympathy to ask for a husband. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in our next video and I hope you check out our website too. So, beijo, tchau tchau! Welcome to another Portuguese Weekly Awards Holiday Edition. Let's see what holiday we have for today. June Saints. Festa Junina. June Saints. A Festa Junina is a festival we have in Brazil in June to celebrate the saints of the month. Nowadays, it also takes place sometimes in July, depending on the place, and it's very famous throughout the country. Okay, so let's see a sample sentence. Na Festa Junina, nós comemos doces de amendoim e milho. During June saints, we eat peanut and corn sweets. Quentão, a hot drink made of distilled sugarcane and spices. This is a hot alcohol drink that we drink during Festa Junina and it's very nice because it's very hot so it's nice to keep you warm since it's winter in Brazil. Na Festa Junina, tinha quentão e vinho quente. During the Festa Junina, there was quentão and hot wine. Hot wine is also a kind of drink we have during Festa Junina that is obviously made of wine. Fogueira, bonfire. It's very traditional to have a bonfire in Festa Juninas uh, especially the big ones, they usually have a huge bonfire. Tinha uma fogueira gigante naquela festa junina. There was a huge bonfire on that festa junina. São João, Saint John the Baptist. He's one of the most famous saints of the month. In the northeastern part of Brazil, it is called Festa de São João, or Saint John's Party or Festival. Okay, so let's see a sample sentence. No Nordeste está a maior festa de São João do mundo. In the northeastern part of Brazil, there's the biggest São João festival of the world. Quadrilha, square dance. Quadrilha is the traditional dance during the Festa Junina. It's usually danced in pairs and it's kind of imitating a wedding. Na escola, eu dançava quadrilha todos os anos. In school, I used to dance square dance every year. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you on our next lesson. See you. Tchau! Hi guys, Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Board Holiday Edition. The holiday for today is Day of Saci. Dia do Saci. Day of Saci. In Brazil, we don't have Halloween, so since this holiday was becoming very famous in Brazil, they just try to name it. Day of Saci or Dia do Saci. O Dia do Saci é no mesmo dia do Halloween. The Day of Saci is on the same day as Halloween. Dia das Bruxas, Halloween. Day of the Witches, Halloween. These are their names you can call the Dia do Saci. So you could say, Eu vou me vestir de vampiro no Dia das Bruxas. I'm going as a vampire on Halloween. Gostosuras ou travessuras, trick or treat. So when kids go and knock on our door, they probably will say Gostosuras ou travessuras? Trick or treat? Folklore. 
folklore. Sasin is a black boy with only one foot and he goes around making some tricks with people. O Saci faz parte do folclore brasileiro. Saci is part of Brazilian folklore. Cuca, a silver-haired old hag who looks like an alligator and catches naughty children. Cuca is a kind of an alligator and became very famous with Monteiro Lobato, a Brazilian writer, and also became a TV show. Muitas crianças têm medo da Cuca. Many kids are afraid of Cuca. The end! Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you subscribe to our website and our YouTube channel. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. Hi, everyone. Paloma here. Welcome to our Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. So the holiday for today is Our Lady of Aparecida. Nossa Senhora Aparecida. Our Lady Aparecida. On this day, people go to church and especially to the Aparecida city to celebrate the discovery of the saints. O dia de Nossa Senhora Aparecida é em 12 de outubro. Our Lady Aparecida Day is on October 12th. Rio Paraíba, Paraíba River. This is the river where they found the image of the saints. So this is why we call her Aparecida or appeared because she appeared in the middle of the water. O rio Paraíba foi onde se encontrou a imagem de Nossa Senhora. The Paraíba River is where they found the image of Our Lady. Catolicismo. Catholicism. Since Brazil is a Catholic country, on October 12th, people go to Aparecida City to pay respect and thank and ask for favors to Our Lady Aparecida. O catolicismo é muito forte no Brasil. The Catholicism is very strong in Brazil. Basílica. Basilica. Our Lady Aparecida Basilica is located in Aparecida City, very close to São Paulo. Milhares de devotos vão à Basílica de Nossa Senhora. Thousands of devotes go to Our Lady Aparecida Basilica. Peregrinação. Pilgrimage. So, during this time on October, thousands and thousands of people, they make caravans and groups of people that go to the Basilica to thank the Our Lady or to ask her for more favors. Algumas peregrinações podem durar dias ou até meses. Some pilgrimages can take days or even months. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our lesson today and I hope you enjoy also our view. Here is Ilha Comprida or Long Island, very near to São Paulo. Okay, see you next time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao, ciao! Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. The holiday for today is Republic Day. Dia da República. Republic Day. It's usually a normal holiday. People just use this day to go to the beach or visit family or friends. O Dia da República é comemorado dia 15 de novembro. Republic Day is celebrated on November 15th. Dom Pedro II. Pedro II. Last Emperor of Brazil. Pedro II was the last Emperor of Brazil and after the proclamation of the Republic, he went back to Portugal where his family was still in power. Dom Pedro II se tornou rei quando era apenas uma criança. Pedro II became king when he was just a kid. Proclamação da República. Proclamation of the Republic. A Proclamação da República aconteceu em 15 de novembro de 1889. The proclamation of the Republic happened in November 15, 1889. And after that, we started to have presidents and democracy in Brazil. Marechal Deodoro da Fonseca. Marshal Deodoro da Fonseca, first president of Brazil. Marshal Deodoro da Fonseca was the one that took charge in Brazil when they sent the emperor back to Portugal. And his governance was from 1889 to 1891. Marechal Deodoro da Fonseca foi o primeiro presidente do Brasil. Marshal Deodoro da Fonseca was the first president of Brazil. Democracia. Democracy. The Republic was the first attempt to install the democracy in Brazil and have the people have some say in the decisions of the country. 
A democracia é importante para uma sociedade qualitária. Democracy is important for an equalitarian society. The end. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to watch our next video. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. Oi, gente, tudo bom? Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. The holiday today is Christmas. Natal. Christmas. Natal is also celebrated on December 25th in Brazil. And usually on 24th, people have half day work and on 25th, they rest all day. Eu vou visitar a minha família no Natal. I'm going to visit my family on Christmas. Papai Noel. Santa Claus. Papai Noel is the most awaited person during Christmas time for kids because he's the one that gets them presents. Esse ano, Papai Noel trouxe uma boneca para mim. This year, Santa Claus brought me a doll. Pisca Pisca. Blinker, like Christmas decoration. So Pisca Pisca means blinking? Yeah, and this is the lightning they use during Christmas time. Eu vou colocar Pisca Pisca na minha árvore de Natal. I put light Christmas decorations on my Christmas tree. Chester, special type of chicken. Chester is my favorite meat during Christmas time in Brazil because it's kind of a chicken but it's more juicy and it's very delicious. You have to try it. Nós sempre fazemos Chester em casa no Natal. We always cook Chester at home for Christmas. Amigo secreto, secret Santa. Amigo Secreto is kind of a game we do during Christmas, especially for big families. You have to get presents to everyone. So if you just have a secret Santa, you just get presents to one person and that person to another person. Everyone gets a present in the end. Nós vamos sortear o Amigo Secreto na semana que vem. We raffle for Secret Santa next week. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Ciao! Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. The holiday for today is New Year's Day. Ano Novo. New Year. Since Christmas is a holiday that people spend with their family, many people spend New Year with their friends. They usually go to the beach. It's a great place to spend New Year since here is summer. Eu vou pra praia no Ano Novo. I'll go to the beach on New Year. Cor da roupa. Clothing color. So this is a very important point on Brazilians New Year. We usually wear white for peace, but many people use yellow to get some money for next year or green for prosperity. Uh, yeah, each color means something. Eu vou pesquisar o significado da cor da roupa para o ano novo. I'll search about the meaning of the clothing color for New Year. Figo, romã, lentilha, uva. Fig, pomegranate. Lentils, grapes. All those foods are symbol of prosperity, so many people are very superstitious about it and they eat seven of each during New Year's Eve. Minha mãe já comprou o figo e a romã para o ano novo. My mom already bought the fig and the pomegranate for the New Year. Corrida Internacional de São Silvestre. International São Silvestre Race. This is a kind of a marathon that happens in São Paulo on January 1st and is probably the most famous race in Brazil. Este ano eu vou correr na corrida de São Silvestre. This year I'm going to run on São Silvestre race. Fogos de artifício. Fireworks. As I said before, many people go to the beach during New Year and one of the most famous places to go is on Copacabana Beach in Rio. There are the most famous fireworks in Brazil. Este ano eu quero ir para Copacabana ver os fogos de artifício. This year I want to go to Copacabana Beach to see the fireworks. That's it, o fim. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our website. See you next time. Ciao! Oi, gente! Hi, everyone! Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. So today's holiday is a very nice one that I think everyone will love. Carnival. Carnaval. Carnival. 
Carnival is celebrated around February and March in Brazil. It depends on the year. If you're planning to come during Carnival to Brazil, just check the calendar before buying your ticket because it changes every year. Ano que vem, eu vou no Carnaval do Rio. Next year, I'm going to Rio's Carnival. Folião. Carnival Relever. So folião or foliões, the plural form, are the people that go to Carnival. They usually wear costumes or the abada, which is kind of a t-shirt that they gave you. You have to pay for that, but that you use during Carnivals. Os foliões se divertiram no Carnaval da Bahia. The relevers had a lot of fun in Bahia's Carnival. Fantasia, costume. So it's interesting that we usually don't wear costumes on Halloween, but it's very traditional to wear costumes or especially masks during Carnival. Eu preciso comprar uma máscara e uma fantasia para o Carnaval. I need to buy a mask and a costume to Carnival. Axé, axé music. So this is one of the most popular kind of music in Brazil. It's very cheerful and you know people just feel like dancing when you hear it. Especially in the northeastern part of Brazil, in Nordeste, people dance this kind of music during Carnival. Tem muita axé no Carnaval de Porto Seguro. There's a lot of axé music in Porto Seguro's Carnival. Samba. Samba. Yeah, so this is probably the most famous kind of Brazilian music. Samba. And especially in Rio, it's so popular. Yeah, you just need to go to Rio to listen to samba. So another word that has samba is Escola de Samba, which are the groups of people that make the parades on Rio and Sao Paulo and everywhere in the country. So they prepare a whole year to do the presentation on the Carnival Day. Aquela moça samba muito. Ela é a rainha da bateria. That girl dances samba a lot. She's the queen of the drums. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you subscribe and don't forget to watch our next video. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. Hi everyone, Paloma here. Tudo bom? Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. The holiday for today is International Women's Day. Dia Internacional da Mulher, International Women's Day. It's not a holiday, but people still celebrate it. Especially men or kids give flowers to women. Every year I used to receive a small chocolate from the school just to say, you know, thank you for all the women here. O Dia Internacional da Mulher é dia 8 de março. International Women's Day is on March 8th. Buque. Buque. I guess the same as Portuguese. Bouquets and flowers in general are very common gifts during Women's Day because, you know, they're so delicate and they remember the femininity, I think. Eu ganhei um lindo buquê de rosas no Dia da Mulher. I got a beautiful bouquet of roses on Women's Day. Mimo, small gift. I really like this word, mimo. It sounds so Brazilian to me. You can say, é só um mimo. It's just a small gift. It's just a mimo, you know, just to make the person happy. Eu comprei para você, é só um mimo. Direitos femininos. Women's rights. Actually, on Women's Day, we should celebrate women's rights because you can see all the changes that happened in the last years for women that didn't have any space on companies or business and now they have more space and more equality. But they still, there's a long way to go. Aquela advogada luta pelo direito das mulheres. The lawyer fights for women's rights. Dilma Rousseff, first female president of Brazil, elected on 2011. Dilma was the first female president of Brazil. We also had other female candidates. Marina Silva was also one of the big contenders for 2011 elections. But you can see women are trying to get to the top in Brazil too. Dilma foi a primeira presidente mulher do Brasil. Dilma was the first female president of Brazil. That's it, the end. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoy our video. Don't forget to give a hug or a gift or chocolate to your friends, your female friend. And see you next time. Bye bye. Ciao.
Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to Top 25 Portuguese Phrases. Oi, hi. Oi is a very common phrase in Brazil because when you meet someone, you want to greet him or her, you just say oi to everyone. Uh, you can also use olá, that is very common, but oi is more common than olá. Oi, gente. Hi, everyone. Tudo bem? How are you? Tudo bem is a very useful phrase because it means a lot of things. It could be Tudo bem? How are you? Or Tudo bem? I'm fine. Or Tudo bem? It's okay. So, whenever in any situation you can use Tudo bem. Tudo bem comigo. Everything's fine with me. Que legal! That's nice. Que legal is also very useful because when you want to say that something's cool or something's nice or that you're excited about something, you just say Que legal! So, que legal que você está aprendendo português. That's nice that you're learning Portuguese. Bom dia. Good morning. Bom dia is the way you greet people in the morning. To be a little more formal instead of oi or olá, you can use bom dia. So, bom dia, tudo bom com a senhora? Good morning. How are you, madam? Boa tarde. Good afternoon. Boa tarde is the way you greet people afternoon until 5 or 6 p.m., until dawn. So, you could say... Espero que você tenha uma boa tarde. I hope you have a good afternoon. Boa noite. Good evening. Boa noite is the way you greet people at night. So you can say good evening. Boa noite to someone on the street. But you can also say boa noite, good night to someone at home. Boa noite, mãe. Eu vou dormir. Good night, mom. I'm going to sleep. Prazer. Nice to meet you. Prazer is a nice phrase because it's actually a word, so it's very short. You can use more complex phrases like prazer em conhecê-lo or é um prazer, but prazer is enough. Tchau. Bye. Tchau is the way you say bye to someone in Portuguese. So you can say tchau or tchau tchau and that would be fine. So, eu vou dar tchau para minha amiga. I'm going to say bye to my friend. Estou bem. E você? I'm fine. And you? Estou bem means I'm fine. So, if you're not fine, you can say estou mal or não estou bem, I'm not fine. Como você está? Or tudo bem? You can say estou bem. Por favor. Please. Por favor is a very polite phrase that you need to know when you go to Brazil. So, if you want to ask someone to bring you some water, you can say Por favor, você pode me trazer um pouco de água? Please, can you bring me some water? Obrigado. Obrigada. Thank you. Obrigado is super important because you need to thank people when you ask something. So, obrigado is how men would say it and obrigado is how women say it. So, obrigada por assistir a nosso vídeo. Thank you for watching our video. De nada. You're welcome. And de nada is the opposite now. So, when someone tells you obrigada, you can say de nada. De nada. É um prazer. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Sim. Yes. So, if someone asks you, do you want to learn Portuguese? You can just say, sim, yes. Sim, eu quero aprender português. Yes, I want to learn Portuguese. No, no. So, no has a very unique sound in Portuguese because it's a nasal sound. No. Tudo bem. Okay. So, as I said before, tudo bem is very useful. You can say tudo bem to maybe everything in Brazil. Você não quer sair? Tudo bem. You don't want to go out? That's okay. Com licença. Excuse me. When you bump to someone on the street or you want to pass through someone, you can say com licença or dá licença. Dá licença. Posso passar? Excuse me. Can I pass through? Desculpa. I'm sorry. Desculpa. Não foi a minha intenção. I'm sorry. That wasn't my intention. When you hurt someone or when you bump into someone in the street or when you want to apologize to someone, you just say, desculpa. Que horas são? What time is it? If you want to ask someone that you don't know what time is it, you can say, com licença, senhor. Que horas são? Excuse me, sir. What time is it? Onde fica o location? Where's the location? If you really need to go to the restroom and you don't know where it is, you can say, Onde fica o banheiro? Where is the restroom? Or if you want to find a beautiful beach that you heard about, you can say, Onde fica a praia? Where is the beach? O meu nome é? 
My name is. This one is very easy and useful. So, o meu nome é Paloma. My name is Paloma. Qual o seu nome? What's your name? Por quê? Why? If you want to ask someone, por que você chegou atrasado? Why were you late? Or if you want to complain with your boyfriend, say, por que você não me ligou? Why didn't you call me? Se cuida. Take care. Usually when we say goodbye to people, we also say se cuida. Take care. So, tchau amigo, se cuida. Bye my friend, take care. Quanto que fica? How much is it? So if you're shopping in Brazil and you buy a lot of stuff, you can just ask quanto que fica, how much is it for the total of things you're buying. But if you want to ask just the price of a shirt, you can say quanto custa esta camiseta? How much is this shirt? Yeah, that's a very useful phrase if you want to buy something in Brazil. Até mais. See you soon. Até mais is another way to say bye to someone. So you can say... Yeah, we have trains and helicopters around. Até mais the way to say bye to someone. And it actually means until more. But you can say just até mais or até amanhã, see you tomorrow. Até mais tarde, we'll see you later. So, até mais. Vamos embora. Let's go. Okay, so my final phrase is Vamos embora. Let's go or let's leave. You can also say Vamos embora or Vambora. That is the fastest way to say it. We use it, for example, if a party is too boring and you can say Que festa chata. Vamos embora. What a boring party. Let's leave. Or Vambora. Eu quero ir para lá. Let's go. I want to go there. O vídeo está acabando, então vamos embora. The video is ending then. Let's leave. See you. Tchau, tchau. Obrigada. Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to top 25 Portuguese verbs. Ser, to be, exist. Ser is one of the ways to say the verb to be in Portuguese. It means the permanent state. So, I am Brazilian. Eu sou brasileira. I'll always be Brazilian. So, eu sou brasileira. Ter, to have. Ter is used to mean that you have something. For example, eu tenho uma irmã. I have a sister. But it's also used to say age. For example, eu tenho 24 anos. I am 24 years old. Fazer. Do. Make. There's no difference in Portuguese between do and make. So you can say, Eu vou fazer um bolo. I'll make a cake. Or, Eu vou fazer a lição de casa. I'll do my homework. Dizer. To say. So you can say, Ela disse que sabe falar português. She said she can speak Portuguese. Estar. To be. Estar is the other way you can say the verb to be in Portuguese, so you have ser and estar. Estar is the temporary state. So, for example, eu estou em São Paulo. I am in São Paulo. But it doesn't mean I'll be in São Paulo forever. So, for example, tomorrow I can be in Rio. So, today I'm in São Paulo. Hoje eu estou em São Paulo. Haver. To be. There is there. This verb is used a lot in news, but it's not very common in informal language, in everyday casual conversations. Há três pessoas nesta sala. There are three people in this room. Ir, to go. So you can say, vamos para o Brasil? Let's go to Brazil. Or, eu vou viajar amanhã. I'm going traveling tomorrow. Saber, no. So you can say that you know Portuguese. Eu sei português. Or that you don't know some language. Eu não sei inglês. I don't know English. Poder, can. Eu posso carregar 10 quilos. I can carry 10 kilos. Ver. Si. So you can say, Eu vi esse filme semana passada. I saw this movie last week. Vir. To come. So vir and ver are very similar. The sound is very similar. And vir means to come. And ver means to see. So you can say, Você vem no meu aniversário amanhã? Are you coming to my birthday tomorrow? Achar. To think. 
So you could say, eu acho ele bonito. I think he's cute. Or, eu acho que amanhã vai chover. I think tomorrow's gonna rain. Ficar, stay. There are two ways you can use the verb ficar in Portuguese. One is the same as English, stay. Eu vou ficar em casa amanhã. I'm staying home tomorrow. But you can also use it to say where something is located. For example, onde fica o banheiro? Where's the bathroom? Querer, to want. Eu quero aprender português. I want to learn Portuguese. Or, ela quer ir ao Brasil. She wants to go to Brazil. Dar, give. So, a minha amiga me deu um presente. My friend gave me a present. Ouvir, hear. So, you can say, eu estou ouvindo a minha música favorita. I'm listening to my favorite song. Or, eu ouvi a conversa de vocês. I heard you talking. Deixar, let. Me deixa entrar. Can you let me in? Or, eu deixei a minha prima na casa dela. I left my cousin at her home. Falar, talk. Eu falo português. I speak Portuguese. Or, eu falei com a minha amiga. I talked to my friend. Pedir, ask. For example, if you're hungry, you could say, eu pedi uma pizza. I order a pizza or I asked for a pizza. Passar, pass. It's a very useful verb because you can use it with other nouns or verbs to mean different things. For example, passar roupa, to iron clothes. Or, passar o tempo, to spend time. Parecer, seem. For example, parece que vai chover hoje. It seems that it's gonna rain today. Well, not today, it's very sunny here. Sentir, feel. So, you can feel sick, estou sentindo mal, or sentir-se feliz, to feel happy. Chegar, arrive. For example, a minha mãe chegou agora, my mom just arrived. Sair, leave. Eu saí de casa muito cedo, I left home very early. Comer, to eat. So, this is a very useful verb, you need to know. For example, Eu comi uma feijoada hoje. I eat a feijoada today. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in our next video. See you. Ciao. <laughs> Got that. Okay. Over. <laughs> My ear. Welcome to top 25 Portuguese nouns. Tempo, time. Tempo can mean time, but it also means weather. So you could say, o tempo está lindo hoje. The weather is great today. Or, eu não tenho muito tempo agora. I don't have much time now. Moça, young woman. Moça is used a lot in restaurants and stores. It's a way to call a woman to help you, like the salesperson. So you could say, moça, você pode me ajudar? Excuse me, miss, can you please... Ano, year. Ano can be used to say your age, so you can say... Hi everyone, Paloma here, tudo bom? Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words, Holiday Edition.